Hi everyone, welcome to my vegetarian kitchen. Mango season has finally arrived and I just couldn't stop myself from making this heavenly Indian dessert mango chakka chak. Every spoonful of this decadent and creamy dessert promises a symphony of traditional Indian flavors that I'm sure you'll love. So whether you're looking to impress your guests at your next dinner party or simply craving a sweet treat to brighten up your day, this mango chakka chak is sure to hit the spot. So let's dive into my kitchen and get started on this delicious and indulgent dessert. To make mango chakka chak, let us first start off by making some homemade chana. Pour milk in a heavy bottom pan and bring it to a boil on medium heat stirring continuously. Once the milk comes to a rolling boil, turn the stove off and add in the juice of one lemon. Now gently start stirring the milk. You will notice that the milk starts to curdle and the greenish whey and milk solids are separated. At this time, drain the curdle milk using a muslin cloth and strainer. And once all the excess water releases, wash the chena under running cold water so that all the sourness from the lemon juice washes away. Twist the muslin cloth and then press lightly to remove all the moisture and excess water. Leave the chana undisturbed for at least 30 minutes. Once the chana is set, transfer it to a clean plate and then using the heels of your palm, knead the dough for about 15 minutes or until the chana starts to release its own natural oils. We don't want to over knead the chana. The dough must be smooth and lump free. Let's get the sugar syrup ready before I start making the chana balls. Simply add sugar to a large karahai or pan along with some water and allow this to come to a rolling boil. In the meantime, let's get started with the chana balls. For our recipe today, I'll be making these small marble sized balls. Simply take a small amount of the chana and roll gently between your palms to ensure that there are no cracks just as shown in the video. Repeat the same process with the rest of the chena and keep it aside. As you can see, the sugar syrup is ready and boiling. Now carefully add the chena balls in batches to the boiling water as we don't want to give a sudden temperature shock to the hot water. So add the chena balls slowly. Now put the lid on and allow these to cook undisturbed for about 12 to 15 minutes on high heat. While that cooks, let's quickly prepare the mango kesar milk for our chakka chak. Here I'm pouring some boiled milk into a bowl, followed by mango pulp. I have used fresh kesar mango pulp for this recipe, but you can go ahead and use any sweet and ripe mangoes of choice. Add in some condensed milk for richness. Crushed cardamom powder for a lovely aroma. A few strands of saffron mixed in with warm milk. Some sugar, as per your liking. And give it all a good mix until everything is well combined. And just look at that beautiful color. Rest this prepared mixture in the refrigerator until you're ready to use. Let's check on the chena balls. So as you can see, the karahai is covered with these airy bubbles. This is an important step as this allows the chana to cook from all sides. It has been about 15 minutes already. Turn the stove off and allow these to cool down a bit. Once they come to room temperature, we're going to carefully remove these chana balls into a clean bowl and keep it aside. Let me just show you how soft these chana balls have turned out. Just look at that texture. It is now time to get this party going. Let's bring out the prepared mango kesar milk out of the refrigerator and simply drop the prepared chana balls in the mix. Give it all a good mix. Add in a few drops of kevra essence that will add a lovely aroma to this chakka chak and give it a nice stir. Sprinkle some crushed pistachios. Trust me, the combination of mango with pistachios in this recipe is simply divine. Stir well and it is ready to plate. 
Now mango chakachak chak is best enjoyed chill so I recommend chilling this in the refrigerator for at least 2 to 3 hours before serving. Garnish with some chopped nuts on top. I use roasted almonds and pistachios. Of course, some more mango. I just love the freshness these chopped mangoes bring to this dessert. Let's top it off with some more pistachios and some rose petals and it is done. A perfect dessert for those hot summer days. This one is a must try. Like, follow and subscribe for more such recipes and remember to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Happy cooking and thank you for watching.